games. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Beat Boys. Oh. I didn't. I didn't tell Alex that I was oh, gonna start. I, I was just. Looking, I, was I just my phone. Yeah, I know. Oh my god! I was like, eh, he'll figure it out. <laughs> All right, yeah, it works. Oh, and I'm playing. Yeah, okay. I know. Well, actually, that was the one downfall to my plan. I was like, oh well, he's gonna have to start, you know, moving eventually. Roy, I have a. Oh. <clears throat> Nailed it. Nailed it. <laughs> I have a love-hate relationship, mostly hate with Roy, with because. And we kind of played this. Actually, I was gonna say we played this recently, but it might have been like a year ago at this point. Uh, it actually was three years ago, Mark. What? No, four years ago. No, I'm talking about Luigi. I didn't finish my sentence, oh. and I'm sorry. I probably could have like structured it differently. Okay. Um, Lu Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. Because we played oh, it. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. Um, that was last year. Yeah. I'm a fucking idiot. That's okay. I was too. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Um, so, the first time I played that game, because when we played it a year ago, we were we were replaying it. I don't know, wait, was that Chris's first time playing? Uh, no, it was not Chris's first time. We had all played it before. We all played it. Yeah, okay. So the first time I ever played that game, I made it through the entire game, and I got stuck Fuck. on Roy's castle at the end. For those of you who don't know, at, towards the end you have to fight all I'm the I'm just gonna interrupt you real quick, and okay. if you didn't realize... Uh, like, I died because I burped so oh, internally really? loud <laughs> that, that I had to close my eyes and then oh. I just fell off the cart. I didn't. Well, I was looking at the screen, so I didn't even notice you closed your eyes. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. So, like, so you got up to Roy in Super Oh, Star yeah, Saga. yeah. So, um, uh, when you're going to the final boss, you have to fight all the Koopalings. Um, and I got to. Oh, I thought so I close. could have made that. Look at the boo looking right at the camera. He's like, this guy! Um, so I got to Roy, and then I couldn't beat him. First time I ever played, I, I never got past Roy. And then eventually I just got so fed up that I stopped playing. Like, I was so frustrated that I just couldn't... And then when we played it again... Like, I, I had watched... I played it with my brother, and like, he... I watched him get to the end and, and beat the game. But I had never finished the game for myself until we played it. Oh! Yeah. Uh, until we played it with Chris. So whenever I see Roy's castle in in any of the Mario games, I'm always like, Roy. <laughs> and then I usually, you know, be well. And that's why I think I was actually talking about that when we played through this time. I was like, oh, it's Roy. And then I take him on. Wasn't I like, guys, wait, I need to play for this part. Yeah. Like for myself. <laughs> yeah. I, I, was I, I need. To, I, yeah, I need to, you know, grow on a personal level. <laughs> And I did, and I beat him. I think I beat him on my first try too. And I was like, "Why the fuck did I have so much trouble with this?" Yeah, yeah. I think I think that that that's exactly how it panned out. Nice um, save. Uh, so anyway, um, we should probably get to the main reason why literally everyone is here, and that's talking about my Tuesday. <laughs> right. We've kept the people waiting long enough. Um, no, I, it was I, it was it was good. <laughs> that, that's all you got. No, um, you didn't cut your finger or anything. I, I did not. I did not hurt myself in any way. Let it out. <laughs> don't don't internalize it. No, it'll come out later. Um, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> all right. A little bit of a delay, but not as long as I thought. You never expect the Spanish. Um, <clears throat> fuckquisition. Uh, fuckquisition. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you um, for taking the fuck out of my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see if I can actually fucking do this this time. So what I initially thought you were referring to before when you're talking about Roy is when we when we fought Roy is so um, Mark and I went to school together and uh, in school when like the first couple times I hung out with Mark I was like hey you want you want to come over and play video games and Mark was like yeah. <laughs> And so, one of the games we played was this one. I don't know if you remember, Mark. I, I remember. I'm just trying to remember where you're going with this story and how it so, has to do with Roy. Because we kill Roy in this in this, yeah. in this this game. Sure. So, uh, for some reason, I was thinking that, you know, you were referring to playing this game again. Not, oh, not Roy oh, okay. in general. I, I was, like, trying to remember if we had, like, a certain experience with Roy. No, we didn't. Fuck. No. Um... Just gonna damage boost through that. I don't need that. Fuck. Oh god! 
Wow. I wasn't expecting they to go through those blocks. Pulled. I was not expecting to jump through there. Um. Yeah, no, no, so I meant, uh, I realized like I, I was setting it up without actually talking about what I was talking about. And I had to, I, I left out the, the key piece of information. Which was? Talking about Mario and Luigi Superstar right. Soccer. <laughs> which they just remade. Did they? Yeah. Like, like, well, like, re like would remake or like just re-released? So, same game. Yep. Better graphics. Oh, okay, so it's like a... Is did it kind of like a remaster? Yes, yeah, no. so... It, and that, it's cool because at first I was like, Oh man, well, like, we just played it. Right. So I don't need to get it again. But they also released a, a part of that game called uh, Bowser's Minions, where it's the same story from the perspective of Bowser's Minions. Oh. So in that game, like, you know, Bowser is a key part of the story. Right. And obviously, you know... Uh, he gets like kind of kidnapped and used throughout the game and you, you know he interacts with your storyline but that talks about like what Bowser's minions are doing trying to rescue Bowser right whereas you're trying to rescue Peach right so I was like you know what maybe eventually I'll get that and play that because that actually sounds pretty dope and I do love that game a lot did you need that <laughs> nope okay um but we'll see I don't know I haven't gotten it yet um... So yeah, my, my Tuesday was, uh, pretty good. Did some animating, I was like that. Um, nice. the, the most interesting Fuck. part of my day was I answered a casting call to be part of, um, a billboard that will eventually go up in Times Square. Whoa. I will preface this story with I didn't end up going through with it for Reasons. a reason, which I'll actually, I, it's not a secret. I'll just explain to you okay. what it is and why I didn't take it. Okay. But I thought that was cool. I was like, you know what? That's not something that happens every day. It was, it was literally, so I'm in a group uh, of alumni. So I, I went to school for, for film, television, and media arts, and I'm part of a Facebook group. Um, by the way. Good job beating Roy. Let's oh, not, yeah, let's not Sorry, ignore that. I <laughs> um, I I'm part of this this alumni group, and obviously we're all kind of you know in the industry. And someone posted about a casting call where their friend was casting people for this. It's not an ad. I don't really know what it what the word for it would be, but it's it's something that's going to be on a billboard in Times Square where. Have you seen Love Actually? No. All right, I, I haven't actually, either. Actually, no. <laughs> actually. Um, <laughs> so there's a scene where... Um, what's his name? Uh, the actor that plays Rick Grimes in Walking Dead is like Andrew Lincoln or something like that. Okay. Uh, where he like has a scene with Kira Knightley and he uses like cue cards to express his love for her. Um, and apparently they were, they wanted, um, people to come in, you know, uh, of, of all race, age, gender, ethnicity, sexual orientation, and write, like, a similar thing, kind of professing their love for someone on a cue cards, and they're gonna, like, put that together. I, I, I wonder, I, like, I was wondering if it was something for Valentine's Day coming up. Yeah. Um... And I was like, you know, at first I didn't know all the details, so I thought they were looking for people to, like, um, shit, uh, like, just do the cue card thing. Uh-huh. But it turns out, so I answered it, I was, I was, you know, started the interaction. Um, did I do something I wasn't supposed to do? Uh, yeah, you did. Okay. Um, shit. So... I sent them an email like, hey, you know, this sounds like a super fun project. Uh, what information do you need from me? Mm -hmm. And again, I thought it was just going to, you know, I was going to go and they were going to have cue cards for me. And I was just going to, you know, do it. it. Like spend a half an hour. They said they only needed a half hour of people's time. Um, but then when they sent an email, they wanted it to be super personal, which I think is better. Um, so, so like they wanted these stories of people professing their love for someone to be like, oh, oh I sorry. see. Yep. Oh, you're supposed to guess. Yeah. Oh, I have to go in there without pressing yeah, the button? Yeah, and then I you see. press the button. I'll know for next time. Yeah. So, um, they wanted people to, like, be super, you know, they said, like, the, the, only, the only person 
The only, uh, you know, trait that we want people to an answering this casting call to have is bravery because they want it to be like a real personal thing, which I was totally on board with. However, I don't think I have, uh, like, I don't think I have a story that is meaningful enough or like a profession that's meaningful, like profession yeah. of love that's meaningful enough. So I was like, I don't think this is, I'm the right candidate for this. Cause it'd be cool to be on yeah. like a billboard in Times Square, but I was like, I, I don't want to really like cheapen it. Mm -hmm. You know, because they're trying to do like a, a legitimate thing here. Right. And I was kind of excited too. I was like, you know what? That'd be like, that cross that off the bucket list. Be on a billboard in Times Square. That'd be pretty dope. Mm -hmm. Oh, and they'd also pay me too, which would have been wow. nice. Um, you know, go in the city for a night and just spend a half an hour taping with them. Um, but no, nope, cool. I didn't end up doing it. Turned it down, which is fine. Like I said, I don't. You don't have any regrets. I, I made that decision. And I stand by that. Mm -hmm. um, I, think, I think that was an okay decision. Cause like, I mean, you could have could have just like lit like lied completely about it. Well, <laughs> I was thinking about that too, and I was like, I could but, do that. I wasn't considering doing it, but I was like, right. I could do it. But it's like that's, you know, they're trying to to they want like real stories here, you know, like mm -hmm. pe other people would be showing up and like actually, you know, be super personal about it, and it's just like I don't think I could match that level. Mm -hmm. So I was like, nah, thank you so much, you know, for the opportunity, but I'm going to have to bow out. Damn. But we'll see. Sorry, dude. It's all, I mean, hey, I'm not disappointed. Like I said, I, I was like, oh, like, this would be a cool opportunity, but then I was like, eh, I'm not the right, I'm not the right guy for it. Thank you. And on that note, it's next time I beat boys. Fuck. Maybe I'll beat this ghost house. I think I've been on this ghost house since we, this beginning of this recording session. Which, I mean, this is only the second episode, but... Yeah. Next episode, like, I will beat this ghost house! Fuck that ghost. I will... I will fuck that ghost. He definitely has a W for him out. Look at that email. It stands for... <laughs> wish I didn't have to deal with <laughs> Luigi kicking the shit at me next episode. Well... 